Ichthy Saint. We are back with Slay the Spire, per usual. Uh, it is Sunday, so I do have the time for a bonus stream, luckily. Uh, very fortunate for me. i uh, be able to get back on the grind of our 100 run sample size. We left off with, well, one, a daily watcher, which we got a win with. Uh, very exciting. But even more exciting is that we have a mini streak with the Watcher on A20. We have a three run uh, A20 streak. So, hoping to continue off of some of that momentum as, of course, we naturally rotate into Ironclad. So let's see, we have a decent little setup we can do for some route options here. Maybe just my laptop for a second. Sounds like it's about to take off the way the fan's going right now, so I'm trying to give it some some breathing room. Um we have slime boss. So we definitely have a need for damage. Uh, sometimes that can come in the form of more energy with a potential boss swap or uh, better cards with the transformation two cards at the cost of 7 max HP. I definitely don't like a random basic colorless card option to obtain. It can be very, very weak start. Three random potions is okay. Um, but I'm definitely focusing on the Transform 2 cards or the Random Boss uh, Relic. Let's see. We would be able to face a boss at the 7th floor, or excuse me, an Elite at the 7th floor and potentially second one at the 11th? But if we do go this path, actually, let's start from the left and potentially pivot at this question mark. I think that's a pretty strong play. So, I think we've done well with boss swaps, and hard for me to imagine that, especially on Ironclad, that it would be bad. So let's uh, let's take a chance here. We get Astrolabe, which is. Uh, one of the better boss swaps. And I think I like Strike, Strike, Defend. And we do get a nice payoff. We get... Let's look at our... We'll look at our results. We got Warcry Plus, draw two cards. Burning Pack, draw, exhaust one card, draw three cards. And probably the most important, Feed Plus. So we're definitely going to be stalling our fights so we can raise our max HP with that little side quest we got there. That's a draw. Just put a strike up top. And we might be uh, intentionally taking some extra HP just so we can try to stall this fight out. So we can get that feed off. Which we might be able to do, especially if we get a good burning pack draw. We don't get it, but should be able to get it with our next draw. And we do. Power through. I really like that, especially because we started with such a good draw mechanic and uh, uh, from Astrolabe. Plus, we're wanting to stall for feeds, so I think power through is definitely worth it. It's a good pickup early on. I have to be very... Uh, uh, very grateful for a start like this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and exhaust that wound, even though we'll draw into something that might be a little awkward. Um, let's take this one in case we go batch and have to kill it that way for our next draw. We'll draw. We do get feed, very nice.
Mm, double strike will do it. So we'll batch. Fairy in a bottle. Another power through, I don't think so. I would like to take it harm then. Might be upgrading power through in some scenarios. Let's put a strike on top. Upgrade. Yeah, we can we can do that. I was thinking of just upgrading defend, and so we wouldn't get wounds into our draw, but I think you'll be okay. Something like that. We are eager for some more damage. Especially with the slime boss that we're gonna inevitably face. Ooh, fire breathing is the source of damage, especially against slime boss. And since we already have power through, which is shuffling those wounds, those statuses, uh, we do have a damage mechanic, so I'll, I'll take it. We have fairy in the bottle, so let's go ahead and lose some HP. And plus we're working with max HP buildup, so I'm happy to expend some. Hmm. Really like this battle trance, and I don't think there's even any more arguing against it. That's some great draw. Inflame, I think, is asking for too much. So let's just get a card remove, and I think strike will be fine. Still want some damage, so that makes it kind of awkward. What do we want? We probably upgrade fire breathing here. Battle chance first. Don't know how likely it is for us to get the speed off. But I'd like the damage with it bad. But let's uh let's get this first. We might be using liquid memories with bash. Yeah. And we also might be just expending this fairy in a bottle. Two strikes will do it. Especially upgraded. Hard fight. Art of War is not really what we're looking for. Fiend Fire is good with how much draw we have and statuses. Uh, could do a dual wield with feeds, it would let us pick off a lot of um, smaller guys in uh, some of these hallway fights, but it's okay. Lantern, start each combat with additional energy, especially with the amount of draw we have, we're likely to get use out of four energy in turn one. Let's go here. Hmm. I think I'm willing to lose good bit of HP trying to find this. So we found it on the third one, that's okay. We can go here. This is probably one of the better fights that we could have gotten with, um, let's see, probably shouldn't matter too much. With the fire breathing that we can get into play. He'll almost take care of the fight. It will uh, be kind of um, anti-synergetic with the feed, because we won't get to necessarily time the times that we are going to play it. I mean, because we'll just kill here. But 
that's that's one of those where you just accept it. Reckless charge is kind of fun. Zero cost, which I like. And we can easily draw into it, and it will produce a status. So I'll take that. And at this point, we're heavily looking for an evolve uh, to where we can draw the statuses uh, in addition to some extra cards. Mm, Fiendfire is good damage here, which I believe we'll need for a slime boss. Trying to take out Gremlin Wizard so he doesn't hurt us for a lot. Draw pile. We have to do that, which is unfortunate, but. Kill here, to say the least. Dark Embrace is nice whenever card is exhausted, draw a card. Could just kill Jawworm. And I think that's actually for the best. Let's try and get um, feed off, which we're very likely to do here. I think we are bound to actually. Yeah. Great. Some extra HP. Feel no pain. Whenever card is exhausted, gain three blocks. So we have a lot of of uh, our synergetic powers going on. And I th think that with the nature of this fight, we're okay to not rest, just depending upon that we're going to prop fair in a bottle with the big hit that Slime Boss does on turn three um, in exchange for an upgrade. I think I would like that upgrade on Feel No Pain or Battle. Mm, actually, I think I'd like it on Battle Trend. Yeah. Do not underestimate Draw. Draw is uh, potentially bread and butter of your deck. And especially if we're going a fire breathing route where we get a lot of damage from these stances, we want to be drawing them every turn we get. So we can deal 5 times 15, which is 75, and put them at 40, so that's a pretty good proc. Um, I think we can go ahead and do that, actually. Just one second, please. My wife's at work, and she's just checking in. Hmm. Let's draw this again, so that way it'll deal 10 damage once more. Hmm. So we could try to hopefully draw into a status, which we have 5 out of whatever, 5 out of 11, 5 out of 10, 5 out of 9 times, you know, would be. So that's pretty, and then the opposite of that, um, 
pretty probable. Well, we did overkill, but that's okay. Interesting. So we get a Juggernaut, potentially, uh, which is synergizing with our Feel No Pain. So every time we would exhaust a card, maybe Fiend Fire, or the Status, War Cry, Burning Pack, even the Cinder Spain, we would be able to deal five damage randomly. On top of that, or excuse me, alternatively, we could take an Impervious, which we would gain 30 block um, at the price of two energy. It's a pretty, pretty solid card. It would just be able to help us stall sometimes. Um, we have a lot of setup if we wanted Juggernaut. So I think Impervious is just, just the play here. Especially if either fire breathing is what we're trying to do. So we'll take that. Not opposed to a juggernaut in the future, to say the least. Hmm. We could get a fourth energy with ectoplasm, but I really like the gold and that aspect of using it later. Or accruing it, I should say. I think we can do well with just removing the strike and defend. Make our deck more consistent. Make our draw more impactful. I like that. That might be too risky to go this path, where you take an elite and then you have to fight against the burning elite. This one is also kind of risky. You have to face two elites without a fire. Potentially a third if you'd like it. Uh, this one does have a fire granted with it. Don't see any shops uh, in the first half of the act. Not any guaranteed ones, at least. So that's kind of uh, kind of dicey. Let's, uh, let's actually think about this for a second. This should be doable. Just this middle path. One elite, then a fire. Fire, and then two shots, but I don't love the two shots. To go here, but we keep only face one fire. You know what? I think I like a compromise where we have two hallway fights, question mark, two hallway fights, and then we could maybe take this elite. Or we could take a fire, question mark, and then this burning elite. Shouldn't be too taxing, so I think it's kind of like hedging our bets. Mm. Let's play that Dark Embrace. And no, we don't have to use that skill potion yet. I don't think so, at least. Hopefully we're going to draw some of those wounds. We will draw that Day's Nail deal, 10 AoE. Pervious also draws. Let's battle trance first. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. I really don't want a status to kill, but it's okay. I don't think I want any of these. Wild Strike does kind of do what we're doing, but I don't think I want to pay that price just for one gold. Let's put Impervious at the top. Sounds good. I definitely appreciate what our deck is doing, and it's doing it at a consistent pace so far. Yeah, 
Yeah. The bad thing is that we're not getting our feet off. But I guess it's a, it's one of those problems that Successful will have. So we do see another fire breathing. I love that evolve though. Shockwave is typically a really good card, but honestly, we're not playing much attacks. Tr just trying to get the wounds and statuses into play. This arm's also a great damage mitigator. I think Evolve is too good. Or do, do we have too much draw? I don't know. I, I, I don't see where we couldn't take an Evolve if we saw it. So, let's take it and move on. Trying to get our powers into play. Um, I'd rather preserve Art of War here. So let's not play Bash. And let's get our powers into play. Again, they are our bread and butter. Oh, we have to stall. Oh, no, we're good. That was kind of funny. Another burning pact. Is that too much? Hmm. We ha it, it goes with our exhaust energies. Oh, account 985. Uh, appreciate it. It is pretty a fun deck to start off with. Hope you're doing well today. This deck definitely requires some thought going on, and there's a lot to be said about it. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that fire breathing. Um, did this. We might be using our skill pot here. Okay, that helps. Mm. Let's do this for now. We'll have to stall one more turn, but we do have power through coming up. Let's draw. Don't quite full block, but again, it's ex uh, um, pretty acceptable for all that we're doing here. All right, we have three wounds. We can draw. Let's limit what we'll draw then. Okay, well, we killed them anyways. <laughs> uh, we don't need another fairy in the bottle. I'm 
don't think we need another Burning Pact. Metallicize is too slow for what we're doing. Um, Armament plus, we already have one. We already have a good amount of upgrades too. And a small deck size, so don't see it's needed. Um, I think we can take this. I think that uh, we do pretty well against Triple Slavers and um, with a stabbing. Especially with our wounds that we're playing with. We'll draw one with Centennial. And we get some draw. Let's do that. Should have played that Gilman Pain first. Didn't think I had that much energy. No reason to upgrade here. Um. block again. I really want to wait on Impervious because it's such a great block. I don't want to feel like I'm wasting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're probably just going to kill. We will just kill. Yeah. Okay. Guria is okay. You can now gain uh, up to three strength at rest sites. I like that distilled chaos. I think second wind is definitely uh, in tandem with what we're doing here. Hmm, worst feat ever. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but we took it, or we got it from Astrolabe, so it it was a blessing. But then we kind of. Uh, you know, wasted it. <laughs> but, I mean, we got up to... I agree. I think this deck is ready for the heart. Maybe we could take another feel in the pain. Um, well, we produce enough, like, statuses and can get enough block off of them. I think I like the skill pot rather than, disti uh, rather than distilled, because we could get Fiendfire accidentally off distilled. Um, we get something that could likely exhaust from our skill pot. Uh, I think there are better ways to stall. I think that's what we're doing. And, you know, we don't always set up so quickly, so I think I'd rather have the fairy in the bottle for now rather than distilled chaos. Just especially since we're under, like, 50%. So we could upgrade. I think second win is really good, but I think I'd rather just have Dark Embrace in play. That being said, I would probably still take uh, Snekalai to get from this boss. Hmm. Wow. Um, looks like we're gonna be taking a good bit of damage. Next turn. Let's do this, because that will potentially deal with at least one minion and with uh, damage incoming from Gremlin Leader. And we block here. Yeah, let's use our skill pot now. We're definitely not playing feed when we get offering. 
And that also trigger, triggers Centennial. Okay, so we actually have to think about this. 2 HP, Dark Embrace, Evolve, but then it kind of messes with our Power 3. Maybe we don't have to play Evolve. these powers into play. I like that. So we'll block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Times 4 is 32. Especially not enough. That stinks. I really have to put that into here, or into one of these minions. Then you could draw a strike and reckless charge, potentially, uh, and that would deal with one of these guys. But then we're still not blocking. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, I think we have to. That feels really bad. We draw a second win, power through though. By the mechanics. Actually, let's uh, let's let's put this into Gremlin Leader. I think this might be what our fairy in the bottle is actually for. Oh wait, I can do battle trance into reckless charge and the. Uh, Status. Okay. That, I, I just didn't think about that. But I'm glad I didn't rush into it, not uh, all the same. Okay. Matryoshka. Two boss relics, or two non boss relics. Get another fire breathing. I think we absolutely take it. Body slam is also tempting, but um, we're more likely to like exhaust the body slam than play it. And I would upgrade that fire breathing. Blood vial and smiling mask. I'm happy to remove some of the cards, more of like the strike and the defense for 50 gold. And now I think we can just upgrade Evolve. Got our uh, draw really kicking. <laughs> we could upgrade two defense, but I don't think we will. Now I wish I didn't take the Smiling Mask, because we're not really moving much. Mm. Let's move Strike Plus, because Second Wind can take care of Dark Embraces. And I think I want to see more card rewards here. Oh, this is a done deal. <laughs> oh, man. So now I'm going to play every skill imaginable. This is like the best matchup we could go against. And we get feed. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to clip that later. Who said we couldn't get feed off? Oh boy. Um, I, oh, I'd take a shrug. I would also take barricade. Uh, there's potential we could have another pain. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. We exhaust so much. Totally calculate feed, yeah. Okay, here's the barricade, and we'll take it. 
we are getting an Artivore pretty consistently. I don't want that, so. Uh, it's not always common for Ironclad to do that. Mm. I'll take the energy rather than the 10 damage and the status. Plus we still have this. No statuses first, so we can go ahead and do this. Hmm. Pacifist Ironclad, yeah. I like it. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. Let's do this. That feels pretty good, huh? Take another war cry. The thing is, I would be pretty excited about Sneko. Actually, probably Pyramid too, because we have a lot of capability to exhaust the statuses and moves. It's kind of funny. It's not often that you take both of them. Or like either one, I should say. But they're both very strong. Mm, intimidate also is okay. Take Intimidate rather than a Shockwave. Can move status, or can move artifact. I don't know how much we care about that though. And actually, I think our next card remove is probably Bash. We can take Warcry for now. It does some funny things with uh, uh, our statuses and evolves and fire breathing. And let's upgrade this skill and pain. Oh, Intimidate would uh, strike weakness against uh, the disarm that we can get off. Didn't think about that. Get the anchor preserved. Yeah, we just got like all of our powers except uh, feel no pain and evolve, and then there we go. I think we should play it. Count 985. Do you play much Slay the Spire? Or do you play <clears throat> 820? Or is this your first time tuning into the game? And we can actually probably control... Oh, sorry. Also, apologize for a uh, new bot. I I've been trying to take care of that. I don't know why it still does that. I thought I took care of that pop-up. A20. Yeah. 
I uh, I first got into Slay the Spire playing A20 on my Switch, and now I play here on my PC. I have more laptop, but yeah, I think on my Switch I have 1500 hours, and then on here I have 250. so we can actually try to get feet off. This should be... Let's see. 7 plus 10. Yeah. Um. Oh, what? 20. Oh my god, I was thinking we had... We were dealing with 10 from it. Okay, then we might have been already past the benchmark. I'll take another impervious. Good for a stone. And Fusion Hammer. We've got pretty much all the upgrades we want, plus we have Armaments Plus. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's fun to tune in to other people play A20. Uh, I've seen various people play, like Life Coach, Dorbs, um, Bane, Crimson Blur when he used to play. Um, Sometimes a Moz. Uh, and, and there's so many different playstyles amongst just those five people. Fusion Hammer, I think, is uh, pretty beneficial to what we're doing. So let's take it. And there's always something you can learn from each individual. If not, just be entertained, at the very least. So we get. One, two, three. One, two. Three. Three elites is our max. I'm also looking for late game shops in case we get like mind bloom and some of these several question marks. I definitely want to take an early shop because we have like 500 gold. Um. Hmm. I think I want to hit some of these question marks though. So let's uh, let's stay on this left side. just gonna go ahead and give up on feed on this fight. There's, there's no way that we're getting it done on this one. Oh my gosh, we got it. I didn't think it was probable, and it definitely wasn't. 
that we did do. Simmer Soul kind of does what we're doing here. I don't like playing two energy for it. Havoc is, I think, too wild, especially if we get Fiend Fire. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad card, but I, I would take it if we didn't have that Fiend Fire. Slash second win. Otherwise, it'd be right on par. So we'll skip that. Let's get our gold. Uh, <laughs> Medic Shard is funny. Um, but we definitely want, like, more Feel No Pains. I'd say. And, like, Entrench. And Bronze Skills kinda helps. Okay, let's get rid of that Bash, that's for sure. If we're just building up our Barricade, it would definitely help against Heart. So with Disarm. Um, I don't know how much I want to second Disarm. Maybe you can take him. We have a lot of draw. In Centennial. In case we don't draw manually. Okay. And I don't think I like anything else here. Well, maybe we can get rid of Harry in the Bottle. I don't think I want to pay 80, though. For a Gambler Brew. It's good, but... I don't know. Let's just say that... We will draw three just by taking this one damage. I think we're about to smoke this guy. Yeah. dies from <laughs> thorns. Um, this might be one of the least operative uh, decks for uh, feed here. It's okay, we have 107. That's that's enough to ask for. Yeah, could definitely choose not to play at Fire Breathings. Uh, that would be pretty skilled play. Uh, the next question is, do I have... Yeah, I was about to say, do I have the patience for it? <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know if I do. Uh, yeah. It, it's definitely the right play. Maybe, who knows? Maybe we can get this this one off. Oh well. I'll give it like twenty more seconds. Before I just end it. Or it ends it for me. Okay. Body swim. You know, we did see one upgraded. And it would have been fine to take it then. But now that we're doing everything so well, I think it's better to make sure that we're getting the damage cap on the heart. I'm 
draw one, or draw three with Centennial, taking one. Fever dream of feed is actually possible. with points. I also would now take a Juggernaut. Once again, we had that option as well. And I will take a third Impervious, too. I, I, I don't know if I could truly ask for more, though. Um, we're not smithing, and we don't really care about fires. So I guess I'd rather see the Elite, so in case we get, like, Dig, or even Toke. Before we just kind of waste a fire. Well, we could get red key actually. That might be worth it. Very early for it, but uh, I think it's better to do it now, where we might might rest later. Ooh, definitely want that. I think it would be very ambitious to try to get feed here, just because of how much, uh, how many burns he's shuffling as well. So might as well, might as well play it. I won't even bother with it. okay. Um, you can no longer become frail. The only time where that really comes into effect is when we're playing power through and impervious, but otherwise we're getting a lot of block from our field of pain. I don't think we need that ghostly armor. It's nice to have, I suppose, but I really like to uh, keep our deck thin and consistent right now. Which, you could have made an argument for, uh... Oh, what was the other boss relic? Busted Crown. But, I still want to see all the cards that could just potentially, you know, put us right there. I think we can draw... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kinda take a lot here. Maybe I should have started with that. But I'd rather not try to end it on a Oh wait, we have a little more. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, lordy. Six for like no reason. Okay, I should I should slow down. I'm getting too confident about this deck. That's the that's a problem here. 
Let's, let's start with this. Okay. We get a lucky break. I think we definitely will be playing that body slam here. That's what's gonna speed up this fight. Doop. No, I'm good. Another war cry, another body slam. I don't think we need that now. We have to take this key. Ooh, and we get bag of prep. That's phenomenal. And we can definitely forego Eternal Feather because we're not doing much else at our campsites. Um, very happy. Very happy with how that turned out. And Inspire Growth comes back again for round two. I definitely want uh, an entrench. I think that would uh, so solidify with the amount of blob that we're gathering. And especially if we don't get barricade, like turn one. Uh, we have all these imperviouses and other ways of like getting block. It would feel pretty good. thought about that for a second. I should have narrated that one, but Sentinel. Do we want the extra energy? I don't think it's worth it. And let's take the events here. First. Going Tesseract. Yeah, let's take it. Three cards. Discovery might be something. Hmm. You know, if we had medkit, we... Oh, no, we would need another Dark Embrace. I was going to say the potential of going infinite with draw, uh, drawing our dazes and playing them with Flash of Steel. I had that one time, and I like was enamored by it. How it was even set up. I like one discovery. It's kind of a wild card to potentially bail you out of something. I don't know. I should have uh, put one of the steps that's actually in the back. I would love barricade. Okay. I'll take another power through for sure. I did draw that body slam back.
And it looks like we're in control of this fight pretty handedly. get a fourth impervious or a second field of pain and the fact that I'm considering the second field of pain really says a lot of just the strength of the card itself um, I think field of pain is better in this situation we exhaust so much and so frequently uh, and to get one into play I think is worth it especially for talking about the heart yeah, we'll take this every day. This is like your dream ironclad deck. When you when you think about playing ironclad, this is what you want. We're not gonna get feed off, I don't think, because we do have to be kind of fast here. Do I want the energy? Yeah, I do. Do draw three again. Once, once more. The centennial. Bird faced urn whenever you play a power. Keel 2 HP. We definitely play some powers to say the least. Um, and healing was pretty good. We're down 47 right now. Don't want those cards. Uh, but it's also that we're not too reliant upon just like getting. Okay, well, yes, we want the powers in play, but uh, once we've done that, we're pretty much unbeatable. Um, so, I'm not too worried about the Awakened One as a first boss. Oh man. I would love to get Barricade in play though. I think that's pretty important for this fight. but I also want to fall and not take damage. So I think I have to do that. Juggernaut. I'll happily play Juggernaut. Oof. Okay. 
985, are you there? Because if so, I, I, I'm i actually hesitant about this dead branch. It's a deck that is, one, very supportive of the dead branch, but two, kind of depends on itself. Um, nay, I, I think you're in the right. Uh, I don't think we do it. <laughs> Which stinks, but because I mean, because it's a fun, fun gimmick. But uh, what we've got going on is so consistent. Why, why should we screw it up with some clashes and rampages, fun strikes? Just be too much garbage, actually. Um, the only one thing, which it's not enough, I won't take it. The one thing that is like tempting about it is corruption. Yeah, right. Um, but even then, yeah, we would still have so much junk. So that's that's, that's a good decision. Yeah, I, I, it's certainly been a minute since I have skipped on a dead branch with Ironclad with <laughs> Feel No Pain and Dark Embrace. Um, I think we just rest because we. Again, don't care about strength. Okay. So here we are at Act 3, the first boss. And we do get Barricade in play as well with Feel No Pain. And I'll go ahead and play that Disarm. And let's put that Discovery on the back. We'll take 5 here. Okay. Put these impervious pieces into play. I do. I definitely need to take care of these cultists, though. So. Uh, Body slam them, and uh, fire breathings will put them in their place. And that involves playing that. So that way I'll deal it twice. Very nice. We can do that. That was a great turn. Let's just get rid of any concern. Because once we've done it, once we've set ourselves up, we have nothing to fear. Yeah. We could upgrade this discovery. Oh, no. Why, why would we? I need to, I need to think about feet, unfortunately. I don't want to. Maybe I don't. Hmm. Oh wait, we don't even feed on this face. Um Okay. Finish in the back.
Very nice. Um, let's see. We got Donu and Deka. And let's take a second. I, I think my dog might be chewing on something. It shouldn't be. Give me 30 seconds. He's indeed being a good boy, and he actually called me. Did say hi? This is Ralphie. Popping in for the stream. Thank you, boy. Wish me good luck. Uh, let's let's upgrade this war cry and search for a bear kid. <laughs> Just yet. Well, okay, actually, at the next fire, uh, we're not doing much. Then, you uh, I think we can actually just get this. We want energy. Yeah. Theoretically, get double feed. We're good to body slam. song stop playing cards Thank you. Uh, you know what <laughs> let's move on at this point I just kind of think uh, maybe for max HP isn't gonna make any difference. Which is, you know, maybe that's some amateur thinking, but honestly, I don't have all day, all day. 5 HP. Eh, why not? We're, we're not resting, so. or we're not uh, lifting. Tool boss. 
Interesting. Also, happy flower. Uh, Secret Technique is also really good. I think Secret Technique, Flower, Hard Remove, Remove the Defend. Remove the Defend. And we could even use just a tad more energy. The way that we have Bag of Prep now makes me not feel like we're very dependent on what the Toolbox can give us. Instead, I think we get more efficiency out of an energy every third turn. Let's do some digging here. situation. Well, we'll be taking some. Do we want a status to draw over an energy? No, we, with those impervious, I want, I want them to be played. Plus, actually, we'll get some draw uh, with Centennial. We have power through. Okay, then let's just do this. We got feed. That's nice. Stone is fine. Don't think I want another body slam in our deck. Uh, one is fine. Shrug. Mm, nah. Neither metal size. Okay. Here we are. Uh, I think we're getting Dark Embrace into play no matter what. So what skill do we want to play with our secret technique? Maybe Discovery, just to see what's up. Disarm. Um, probably Disarm uh, Basic. Alright. Let's do that. Let's go into War Cry. Doesn't matter because we'll be playing both of these. 
uh, battle trance, I guess. Okay, so now we won't draw anymore and potentially accidentally draw into our defend. I'm very happy about. Or not defend, our uh, barricade. Oh, we did waste some time. Seeing red is okay. We can get this other defend down. No reason to play anything else. That turnip is actually gonna get some uh, some usage. And let's get this on for damage. Yeah. I'm glad we got that bronze scales. To an impervious to do. Oh, we can go ahead and play another. I think that pretty much does it. And I think the next question is, can we stunt on him? with the feet. <laughs> you know, this is the time where I will take take time <laughs> to uh, calculate if we can get a feed off. I think we just got to keep it basic. Draw two of those. So let's, uh... We just have to take the toss like this, right? We'd have five cards in our deck in hand. So we can cap them out. Right? And then next turn we play Reckless Charge and Defeat. Victorious, GG, thank you very much, Count985. Um, that was like an hour 20 of a run. That, that definitely required some thought, um, but you know, you're happy to do it when you get one of the most enjoyable archetypes of Iron Cloud. At least for me. And maybe that's a little too, too biased, but very, very enjoyable. And I think, I think one of the best aspects of it is that we didn't take Dead Branch. It shows like the strength that our deck already came to, as well as the strength of the other powers and the basics of Ironclad, or the fundamentals of Ironclad, I should say.